the coalition. Uh, Gary, uh, since you are a Assassin's Creed fan, I'm going to let you uh, ask this particular question because we do know that Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered is coming out finally to uh, Xbox One, uh, PlayStation 4 uh, in March. So uh, feel free to uh, share your thoughts on the particular question you wanted to ask about this series. Okay, yeah, there was another question I wanted to ask about, you know, the whole series, but as for Assassin's Creed Rogue uh, Remastered, I feel like this is a bit too late. Like, I, I don't think a lot of people are going to care about that game. I think it might slip through the radar a little bit. Because um, I remember when this game came out, and I, I believe that was the year that um, I think it was Black Flag came out. And um, so it was going to be Rogue was going to be like exclusive to last generation and uh, Black Flag was going to be. No, I think it was Unity, actually. It might have been Unity and Unity was going to be um, exclusive to to the you know new generation platforms, PS4 and Xbox One. Um, and then, you know, I remember thinking back then, I bet they're going to bring out Rogue on, on the new gen consoles anyway, eventually. But I thought that would happen within like the first year of it being released, you know, um, it, with, it, with it coming out now. Um, I think it's far too late. And, you know, we, we had that year gap of Assassin's Creed and it's just come back and we've just started to appreciate it again and now they're kind of flooding us with more assassin's creed content all over again um and that's only gonna you know make there be more of a, more of a fatigue uh feeling for assassin's creed which is what we were experiencing before they took a break so i'm not sure how i feel about you know them uh mm -hmm. bringing that remaster out now uh do you guys have any thoughts on that uh, I, I do have a comment that I want to make real quick, and then, of course, we can get everyone else's thoughts. Uh, the one thing I really don't understand with Ubisoft in, in general is that, you know, when they do release these remasters, the, the timing can't be any worse. Now, we already know this is coming out in March, but this is the same time they're supposed to be promoting Far Cry 5, which is also coming out in March. And I know that back in 2006, around in November time, when Watch Dogs 2 came out, they also released the Ezio collection around the same exact time. So I don't un really understand the timing of um, releasing this game the same month and then, you know, someone will then have to decide, well, if I want that game, you know, people don't have that much time to play all these games. So I don't really understand the decision to release it now. I think, it, yeah, it definitely could have came a lot sooner. Um, but I guess, uh, you know, of course, you know, they're thinking about, uh, you know, basically first quarter, second quarter, third, fourth quarter, thinking about how they can maximize their profits. Because I know that initially Far Cry was supposed to come out in February and the crew was supposed to come out in March. Now, uh, of course, they delayed the game by a couple more weeks. Uh, and I think the crew was now coming out in the second quarter of the year. So maybe this is why they did that. I have no idea. But um, yeah, I, I think a lot of people wanted this game because I, when it initially came out, it was only on... Uh, the last gen consoles uh, right now. Uh, I mean, I could say that I am intrigued by the game. I really don't know if I would have the time to play it though, because there's going to be other stuff out in March that I want to play, but yeah, maybe a little overkill with the fatigue, but I think that this was done as a business decision to just get as many games out as possible uh, for that, for, for the uh, first quarter of the year. But uh, I don't know if uh, Mr. Lugo, you have any thoughts on this particular topic? Honestly, I'm with you on that one. It's just a business decision. Why not? I mean, they have Far Cry 5, which is brand new, which is, again, it's going to appeal to Far Cry fans or Ubisoft fans in general. They have other stuff that they've already released through them that's on, like, platforms like the Nintendo Switch and other places, you know, PS4 and Xbox One. So they have a lot of new stuff right now, and they have new stuff coming down the pipeline. But, I mean, if you could get the extra dollars after putting out, you know, for putting out an extra uh, one of the games that had come out previously on one of the last uh last generation of consoles but at least still get more people to pick it up especially that fan base why not i mean it's not predatory in the sense of what we've seen with other remasters or re-releases where it's like okay why is this getting specifically a remaster or re-release like it's i don't think it's that bad like that i agree i agree uh how about you dana any any thoughts on uh this uh, remaster are you planning on picking it up
Sorry, I was muted. Yeah. Um, no, I just don't really care for 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 it that much, and I don't being remastered. But there are people who are Xbox 360, so when I still own it. So for me, it's not anything that I'm really caring about. But for other people who do, and they want to, you know, want it for the 4K for you know their collection, I think it's a wonderful idea. Said this is a business decision, and it's all about the money. And if you can get a game and it's the same stuff, and you know people are wanting it, it's for people. It's I think that it's for you know people who really wanted it, who you know because it was the last. Why not do it? I think it's great, but at the same time, don't be distracted. Five comes out. Absolutely. Okay, Gary, you had another question you wanted to ask about Assassin's Creed, also. Yeah. So, um, like, we know that you know the first three, or I don't know, it might be like five, because there was some other games that came out between. But yeah. Um, from Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3, there was, you know, an overarching storyline that in, involved Desmond. Um, and then, you know, they kind of botched it in Assassin's Creed 3, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't um, as good as it could have been. Um, but, you know, in the games that came out even after the whole Desmond thing concluded, they've still kind of tried to include the 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 sci-fi narrative like the whole you know um this is your ancestor kind of thing um and like do you think it's just it's time for them to just remove that completely now and stop going back to it because it's really not that good and it doesn't actually add much to any of the assassin's creed games at this point like i would rather it's just okay this game is going to be set in this country in during this period of time that's it. Like, just, you know, you're this character, go ahead. Like, there's no reference to sci-fi world or to the modern world, to the future or whatever. Like, just, it's just that setting. You know, I think they should just do that because that's really all people care about. A lot of people actually see, you know, Assassin's Creed games as um, something that can teach history, you know, and, um, like, it can give you a, a sense of what actually occurred at different points in time throughout you know history and stuff and i think that's really its selling point so they don't need to keep going back to the whole sci-fi current world kind of theme because um what attracts people is that whole history thing you know so do you guys think it would be better if they just scrapped the sci-fi stuff completely yeah uh one comment that i will make on that uh i haven't really played uh really much of origins i i i mean i i don't think any of that is in origins but i could be wrong uh based on what i played so far it, it doesn't look like it's it, it 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 you know is going way into the future um but again I, I i haven't played enough of it to know whether or not that is the case for the whole game um i think they definitely should scrap it though because the original concept they have already when they decided to kill desmond that concept was was done so um, I think they should scrap it and just stick to making it about the historical different things that happen in historical timelines. But that's just my opinion. The, the problem with me is that the game, it's, the series, it's the reality. So when you start adding in all of the science fiction element, it seems to take it out of that element. It's this whole different. And I don't like it. You know, and it makes the storylines even more ridiculous. It loses me. So I think that they should completely remove it. Yeah, and um, I can confirm as well that Origins actually does have a modern day um, story involved in it. Oh, well, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right then. Yeah, you're right about that then. They, they need to get rid of that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see what they do with the series. I mean, I, I know that initially, I think they said they will. You know, the next Assassin's Creed, it won't be for like another couple of years. So maybe this will be a regular thing. I mean, not 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 and not uh, counting this remaster. I mean, this is definitely coming out. But 
The next new game, I don't think that's going to be for maybe a couple of years, but who knows with Ubisoft, they may change that up. I have heard that uh, there will, of course, be another Watch Dogs, and that will probably get announced at E3 later this year. But uh, that's about it, you know. But, yeah, as for Assassin's Creed, I don't know what they're going to do with this stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think they should get rid of the sci-fi stuff and just focus on making it the historical pieces for each game with no connection whatsoever. Then they would have more freedom to do other stuff and not having to worry about, well, now we have to explain how this person is related to another person and another bloodline. So, yeah, but we'll see. Uh, any other thoughts before we uh, move on to the next topic? Uh, yeah, just to summarize, like, my thoughts, like, because, like, what I really value about the series is, you know, its accuracy to events that actually happen. And I feel like history is important because you have to know where you've come from to know where you're going, you know. And um, I've actually recently, over the past couple of years, I've actually read some historical literature and stuff like that. And I was actually, like, fascinated to find that um, there was, like, you know, Romans and stuff that were in these books, that were talked about in these books, that were also in Assassin's Creed, like, and, you know, it ties in directly into the story I was reading. So stuff like that is really good. And that's the strength of Assassin's Creed, I feel like. Um, so I think they should just stick to history like that. That's their lane. You know, that's the lane they need to stick to, because if they just promote that, um, they can come at a completely different angle with the marketing. Like, um, you know, this is a an interactive history lesson kind of thing, but it's not boring, you know, because... We all know that when you're in school and you're learning history, like it's boring, you're going to fall asleep, you're going to doze off, you know, um, and a teacher's going to be shouting at you or whatever. Uh, but this game, like, is interactive and it's interesting and you're an assassin. Like, how that, how can you be bored of being an assassin in, you know, in history? So I think that's just the angle they need to go with. They need to stick to that and forget the whole modern day sci-fi anabis or, or whatever the, the machine is called. Um, they need to just forget about that. I agree. I agree. But hey, we'll see. You know, I, I mean, I don't know if in the future they'll they'll give a poll, they'll put out a poll and they'll ask people whether or not they want them to continue with that approach. I mean, I don't really know if they'll do any of that stuff. But uh, I, I do think a lot of people have also picked up on the fact, as you said, they just want to see where the game is set. Is not worried about any ties it has to the present. But uh uh, Friday at the television's winter press hey, Dana, you're, uh, is that yeah. breaking yeah. news? Or something? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a, uh, yeah, we heard, we heard you on the other end. So you're fine now. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens with the series. That, that's all I'll say. 